good morning it is december 13th 2023 this is the day that the lord hath made and we will rejoice in it it looks like my phone just i think is letting me know that we're live let's see i just wanted to make sure that i had this right this morning well we'll see what happens <laughs> praise the lord god is an awesome wonderful lord you've tuned in to matt and randy in the morning we are here to encourage you in the word so that you can be strong in the faith and live victoriously in christ that is where true victory is found and this morning it is i guess to those who have made jesus christ lord and savior of their life those that are hungry for Jesus. This is what my title was. Stop and think who loves you and invites you to spend time with him. Christmas is about God with us. You know, God made the promises all the way back in the Old Testament that he would come. He would send Emmanuel, our Jesus, would come as the suffering servant, the, the lamb that would suffer for our sins once and for all, taking care of the sin of man for those who accept it. So, if you are a believer in Jesus Christ, I want you to hear this morning who it is that loves you. And if you have not asked Jesus Christ to be Lord and Savior of your life, don't wait any longer. Just say, Lord, I want to know you. Forgive me of my sins. Let me have that fresh start. Let me be born again. It doesn't matter how many bad things or how bad the things were that you did or how good your life was, how good you've been. How righteous you've lived. None of that matters. You still need Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior in order to be able to stand before a holy, holy God. Because the word says that even our righteousness is like filthy rags before a holy God. We all need Jesus. No matter where we are in our life, no matter what our status is, Jesus came to save those that were lost. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But Jesus came to give you life, abundant life. Does that mean all your troubles here on earth are going to be gone? Nope, but as we're going to read today, God will be with you through all those troubles. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, as we get into your word, I ask, Holy Spirit, that you give us ears to hear what our Heavenly Father wants to speak to us this morning. May we have hearts that say, Lord, have your way. I give you my heart, Lord. Don't let my heart deceive me, Lord, but instead let my heart praise you and honor you. In Jesus' name, amen. I wrote this down. Sometimes we forget how special of a person we have in our life. We try to please others to keep them as our friends. We compromise. We sacrifice. Spend money we may not have. You know, a fancier car just to impress people. Dress to try to impress when we already have the greatest friend we could ever have. He loves you. He loves you for who you are, not what you have or not have. He loves you and wants to bless you. That is the friendship we need to protect the most. When we do that, he will help us with all our other relationships. If you protect your friendship with the Lord, the most everything else will fall in its proper place all things work together for good to those who love God 
and are called according to His purpose. When you allow the love of the Lord to flow through you, it will affect every relationship in your life. That peace of God that passes all understanding that is inside of the life of a believer, that is what people need. That is how to be the greatest friend is to tell a friend about Jesus. So here we go. Psalms 104. I read this and it's like, this is who our God is. This is the one who dwells, whose spirit dwells in me, who dwells in the life of every believer. Listen to what this says. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. Again, we're, I'm speaking to those who have accepted Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. You can say, bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God. You are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty. Who covers yourself with light as a garment? And I wrote down Christmas lights, angels, that first Christmas Eve, the star that led the wise men. Let the lights of Christmas remind you of God Almighty who makes the darkness in your life flee. The angels said, fear not. Jesus said, fear not. Continues and it says, who stretch out the heavens like a curtain. He lays the beams of his upper chambers in the waters, who makes the clouds his chariot, who walks on the wings of the wind, who makes his angel spirits, his ministers a flame of fire. You who laid the foundations of the earth so that it should not be moved forever, you covered it with the deep as with a garment. The waters stood above the mountains. At your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away. They went up over the mountains. They went down into the valleys to the place which you founded for them. You have set the boundary that they may not pass over, that they may not return to cover the earth. He spent... He sends the springs into the valleys. They flow among the hills. They give drink to every beast of the field. The wild donkeys quench their thirst. You know, God is a provider. By them, the birds of the heaven have their home. They sing among the branches. He waters the hills from his upper chambers. The earth is satisfied with the fruit of your works. He causes the grass to grow for the cattle and vegetation for the service of man that he may bring forth food from the earth. See, farmers, if you don't know Jesus, <laughs> you need to know Jesus because it is God who causes your plants to grow. It is the Lord that causes all these things to happen, the rain to flow, the sun to rise. Our God Almighty is the one that does all this. These things didn't happen by accident. They have a perfect order, a perfect creator. And he goes and says, The bread which strengthens men's heart, the trees of the Lord are full of sap, the cedars of Lebanon which he planted. Where the birds make their nests, the stork has her home in the fir trees. The high hills are for the wild goats, and the cliffs a refuge for the rock of badgers. For the rock badgers. He appointed the moon for seasons. The sun knows it's going down. You make darkness and it is night in which all the beasts of the forest creep about. The young lions roar after their prey and seek their food from God. When the sun rises, they gather together and lie down in their dens. Man goes out to his work and to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your possessions. This great and wide sea in which are innumerable teeming things, living things both small and great. You know, we have yet to see all the depths of the oceans. Man is constantly seeking how to be able to go deeper and search more of those things. Our God created all that. It says, their ships sail about, there, there is that Leviathan which you have made to play there. These all wait for you, that you may give them their food in due season. What you give them, they gather in. To, op to you, excuse me, they gather in. You open your hand that they 
they are filled with good. You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die, and return to their dust. You send forth your spirit, they are created. And you renew the face of the earth. Verse 31. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. May the Lord rejoice in his works. He looks on the earth and it trembles. He touches the hills and they smoke. Verse 33 is where I highlighted for us something we need to do as we realize all these things that we just read. That is God Almighty who loves us so, so much. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will sing praise to my God while I have my being. May my meditation be sweet to him. I will be glad in the Lord. And then it goes, May sinners be consumed from the earth and the wicked be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Make up your mind that you are going to praise the Lord. You're going to guard that friendship of you and God the most. Because when you do that, you will be a better friend, a better husband, a better wife. Everything in your life, you will do better if you guard your friendship with the Lord. And keep a praise song in your heart and rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I say rejoice. Keep a praise song in your heart.